This is a tutorial about setting up a simple contact form in Convertry. Inserting a contact form on your page lets you collect essential information such as names and email addresses, as well as extras like shipping addresses, websites and more. Once you publish your page, whenever someone fills out and submits your form, the information they have entered will be sent inside an email message to your inbox. So let's get started. First we'll configure the form. This sets up the behind the scenes magic that makes form submissions work. In the page builder, click on forms in the top toolbar. Then click email in the left hand menu and toggle email notifications to on. Edit the subject line if you need. Email notifications will be sent from support at convertrynotifications.com, so be sure to add that to your VIP or contacts list. Next, click on thank you page in the left hand menu and enter the URL of the page you want your prospects taken to after they click submit. This could be your thank you page, upsell page, main website or anything else. Then click done. Next, we need to add our form to our page. This means adding form fields for each type of information you want to collect and mapping them to help Convertry deliver the information to you. Click on form elements in the elements tray and drag a first name or last name input onto your page. With your input element selected, click on Form Field Settings in the Properties panel. Choose the field type from the drop down menu according to what information you want entered here. For example, if you want this box to be for email addresses, click on Email. Toggle the required switch if you don't want users to be able to submit the form without entering this info. You can also choose to use form field validation to make sure the info entered is in the proper email format. Next, click on the arrow to go back to the main properties panel menu. Click input properties. Here you can enter placeholder text to let users know what information to enter and help you remember which form element is which. Next, drag over more form inputs from the elements tray to complete your form. Build your form to collect as much info as you need, including first, middle, last and full names, phone numbers and more. Please remember you need to map everyone to its field type in the properties panel. When you're done, don't forget to save and publish your page. Click view to open your page in a new tab and try sending yourself a test response. You'll receive an email in the inbox of the email listed as your main Convertry account every time your form is submitted. Sometimes you'll want to collect feedback, job quotes or just people's favourite colour. To create your own custom field, all you need to do is choose a form field type that isn't being used, like full name. Then set the placeholder text to which information you want the user to enter. When you receive your form submission notification email, your custom information will be listed under the form field type you used. You'll be able to tell by what's written. Please note, if you've got more than one form entry field on your page with the same type, Convertry will send the one that has the most data in it. So if you're using an API, you can have multiple forms on your page all attached to the same list, and Convertry will always send the data from the one that's been filled in. If you have an agency account, you can send your form response emails to your client's email address instead, but they must be listed as a user on the sub-account that contains the page that you want to set up the contact form on. In the email section of the forms dialog, just click here to let your client receive form responses. You'll be taken to the client screen where you'll see a confirmation message letting you know your client will receive form responses. Click the button to toggle form responses back to you.